President Biden takes the wraps off his budget proposal. The deal expected to face opposition from a divided Congress, though. We get a fresh take on this from the White House with Bharat Ramamurti, Deputy Director of the National Economic Council. And meanwhile, we're also hearing more out of the Norfolk Southern hearing, the CEO giving his opening statement with an apologetic tone and saying safety measures were not good enough. Now, the CEO also said Norfolk Southern would stay in the town of East Palestine, Ohio, for as long as necessary. The investigation into the train derailment there into another more recent one in Ohio still continues. Well, President Biden out with details on his 2024 budget proposal with Republican control of the House, all but ensuring that the proposal will not become law. For details on the proposal, Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schoenberger has the latest. Hey, Jennifer. Good morning, Rochelle. That's right. President Biden formally rolling out his 2024 budget proposal today. The president expected to lay out his vision, including shoring up Medicare to cutting wasteful spending to, trillion, to, to trillions in new spending. It will reduce the deficit by nearly $3 trillion over the next decade through a series of tax increases on corporations and wealthy Americans. The president expected to reprise a number of tax hiking proposals, including a renewed call to quadruple the 1% tax on stock buybacks implemented January 1st to 4%. Also expected raising the corporate tax rate to 28% from currently 21%. Also, closing tax loopholes, including the like-kind loophole real estate transactions in which owners can defer capital gains from one property transaction by investing in another, as well scrapping tax breaks that oil and gas companies receive. Now, President Biden will also reportedly propose changing the tax treatment of cryptocurrency transactions, which would raise $24 billion. Those sales aren't subject to the same so-called wash sale rules right now that apply to stocks and bonds. That means people can sell their underwater crypto investments, take that tax deductible loss, and then buy right back into the same investment. Now, the president is also floating three proposals to extend the solvency of Medicare by at least 25 years through increasing tax rates on those earning more than 400000 a year, closing loopholes that shield some so-called pass-through income from Medicare taxes and allowing Medicare to negotiate on a wider array of prescription drugs. Elsewhere, Biden is reportedly expected to put forth a defense budget of more than $800 billion. That's higher than last year's request, though comes against the backdrop of continuing conflict in Ukraine and rising tensions in China. Now, Rochelle, with trillions in proposed spending, Biden's budget expected to be dead on arrival with Republicans in Congress, Congress though it will serve as a kickoff point for spending negotiations as that debt ceiling limit looms. The president expected to make remarks on this at 2.30 this afternoon in Philadelphia, that budget formally rolling out at 12 noon today. Back to you.